my NLP training last week, I learned something, well, lots of things with the fabulous Georgia Warby. Um, one of them I wanted to share with you because it had quite a profound impact on me. And I had an example just this last couple of days of how my change in approach to with this new knowledge has really impacted me. And that is the concept that all emotions have a purpose. So um, that in the past, I think I used to think when I was happy and all was going well, yay, everything's all right and I'm all right. And whenever I felt feelings and emotions that weren't so nice, I didn't really want to feel them. And so I would, well, scientists have proven that eating and particularly carbohydrates release serotonin and dopamine which are our feel-good hormones and so I used to use food to quash down those not so nice feelings rather than actually face them and I think I also used to keep myself very busy uh, in that way as well busy 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 so I didn't have time to sit and think about what it was that I was th feeling that was making me feel so uncomfortable and this concept that I learned last week that emotions are actually there for a purpose and that when we don't face our emotions and our feelings that actually um, we, the, the number of things that we do that we think will deal with it are so like I've just said eating for me keeping busy I think um, alcohol drugs um, sex addi addiction um, smoking possibly as a distraction all these things um, are we think ways of actually dealing with the emotion but actually it doesn't that there it never goes away it's always there and it's like you're pushing this great big weight in front of you all the time and every now and again your body will send up I think of it as like Na Native American smoke signals you think the feeling's gone uh, but actually it goes poof, 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 and sets off a little tar a little uh, warning sign that I'm still here, I'm still here and you still need to deal with me and then sometime later up it'll come again poof, 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 and off it goes again and it never goes away unless you deal with it. There are four emotions, main emotions I've now learnt. One is anger. So the purpose of anger is to let you know that you're not happy with something and that one of your boundaries has been crossed. Um, a belief or value that you hold and, um, and that that has been in some way impinged. Um, so that's an important message that you need to hear and, and choose to act on or not. Uh, the second emotion is sadness. So this gives you the, so when you feel sadness, this gives you the information that you've either suffered a loss, and that can be um, an actual loss, obviously, as in a, you know, a bereavement, um, or it can be um, a perceived loss. So um, uh, like a refusing to accept something, um, a, a, uh, a relationship maybe that you you thought you once it once was one way but then you realize it's not anymore so rather than an actual loss a, a perceived loss of something um and uh, um so you know th those are horrible things to feel um but actually there is no way to deal with it other than facing something like that when you've actually lost something there is no there isn't anything you can do about it other than like with anger if a boundary is being crossed you can address that with sadness a loss there isn't is there and so the only way forwards is to actually um uh, accept that, that 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 is what has happened to you and then move on with that easier said than done i realize um, another um, anger that we feel is is hurt so that can either be emotional or physical so um, and, and interestingly they both have exactly the same neurological pathways so obviously a physical hurt is there to tell us that you've I don't know you've stubbed your toe and if it's bleeding you need to deal with it and an emotional hurt is is telling you that you've got some sort of healing to do and then the final emotion is if I can find it on my little list here is um, there it is is fear so um, fear is to alert us to some sort of danger um, possible or actual and that we have to actually protect ourselves from so the the information is um, is that you need to keep yourself safe in some way 
So all of these things have got uh, information to give us that we should act upon. And I had a really good example of this just yesterday. I went to my um, daughter's graduation and I uh, uh, we, we basically forgot to take the photo of, we took lots and lots of photos and we took loads of her in her waterboard and gown, but we forgot to take the one photo of hers of, that is the archetypal one that everybody has of their child in their graduation gowns with uh, mum and dad either side. And um, I realised uh, last night as we were going home and I was in incredibly angry, really, really annoyed um, that, that we had just forgotten in the midst of everything that was going on. Um, I felt really sad because there was absolutely nothing that I could do about it uh, because the day's gone, you know, it's all done and dusted now. And I, um, took for a long time, I, I felt really annoyed with myself. And then I started to take it out, of, well not take it out, but feel it with my poor husband and, and sat there in the car thinking, for God's sake, why do I have to remember everything? And why couldn't you have remembered that we needed to take the photos? And you never remember to take photos. And I didn't say it to him, but I was thinking it and brooding it and getting more and more and more annoyed. And, and um, it was really spoiling the rest of my um, evening. What should have been a fan, well, it was a lovely, lovely day, but it, it gave a bad taste to the end of the day in my mind and um, the whole of this morning I've been with clients, been with clients most of today and they've all been asking me how did the graduation go and I'd always go yeah it was really nice but actually I'm really really annoyed now any of you watching this you'll, you'll recognize this um, and then I um, made a point at which I'm doing ever since my NLP training of spending a little bit of time every day just for me and so my time today was sitting out in the garden when I had a break between clients with um, I had a glass of water and I was just looking at my garden sitting in the sunshine under the umbrella um, feeling rather relaxed and chilled and that gave me because I wasn't busy 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 I it gave me just time just to reflect on everything and I I thought to myself just go with it and feel just feel this anger feel this sadness and just go with it and so I did and I sat with it and I we don't face these feelings because we think that they're just going to build and build and build until we just can't cope with them anymore or they overwhelm us but actually you go through them it's like going through do you know what it's like? It's like Harry Potter going through that onto platform nine and three quarters where he manages to magically go through that wall. It's like that. You go through the wall of the feelings and and then it just loses its power. And what I found happened was once I'd, I'd gone through it, I was then able to then make a decision on how I was going to act on that information that those feelings were giving me. And so I, I sat there in the sunshine, looking at my garden thinking, okay, well, is there anything I can do about this? And then I suddenly thought, why don't I ring Reading University? and see, is there anything I can do about this? Because, you know, maybe there is. So I picked up the phone and I gave them a ring and they were very helpful and they put me in touch with the company that hire out the gowns and I've spoken to them and hallelujah, we can do a private hire. Um, and so next week they're sending me out um, a Reading University graduation gown and mortarboard and when it arrives we're going to all get dolled up in our finery again and we're going to take some lovely photos out in the garden and doubtless we will all be chuckling non-stop about it and how daft we were that none of us thought to actually take these blinking photos and it's all turned out fine it's fine and very empowering so rather than turning to the food to drown out these things sit with them and just see what it comes up for you and what can you then do about it and that's much much nicer place to be